B.M. Williams Primary School has introduced the After School Satan Club. Dude, I wish there were Satan Clubs when I was going to school. I might have f***ing tried to get my grades up so I could actually join a club. What the fuck sense does that make, by the way? Where you're not allowed to join an after school club unless your GPA is over a certain point? Wouldn't you just be thrilled that a student was taking interest in an after-school activity? Because I wanted to join the debate club, but my grades weren't good enough. Even though I was a better debater than every motherfucker in that club. The club promotes activities centered around the seven fundamental tenets of Satanism. These tenets are the satanic equivalent of the Ten Commandments. And this obviously has... Cool, yeah. ...upset parents. Why? One mom spoke to Fox. Watch. Parents in opposition were the majority turnout. Um, overwhelming... Busybody moral grandstanders were the majority turnout. The people who didn't give a shit didn't bother to show up. You no, know, go figure. Yeah. The people with the problem are always the ones that show up. That doesn't mean you're in the majority. It just means that you're in the vocal minority. When we're discussing Satan clubs in our public schools, we are failing our children. We are failing our children. Um, these are frightening images. This is a frightening ideology. Then here's an idea. Maybe your children don't have to join the Satan Club. Maybe the Satan Club can just be for the kids that want to be in the Satan Club. Oh, man, they're making Marvel movies I don't like. Okay, don't see them. Oh, man, there's school clubs I don't like. Okay, well, don't join them. I mean, like, what, what do you want? Just don't fucking do it then. It's the responsibility of the adults in the room yeah. to stand up and speak up for the parent. I mean... How? Like, how are you going to do that without violating First Amendment rights? If the students at the school have the right to start a Bible club, then the students at the school have every right to start a Satan club. And if they don't have the right to start a Satan club, then they don't have the right to start a Bible club. A few months ago, I don't know if you remember, we went to Satan Con to find out what these people... Cool. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a Satan Con. That sounds awesome. The biggest mis misconception about Satanism is that we sacrifice children... In reality, we mostly sacrifice adults and maybe some younger teenagers, but no children. We eat babies. I mean, there's not even that much meat on a baby. You know, once again, we, we try to confine our cannibalism to adults. And we don't like kittens, and that could be the farthest from the truth. We of course, Satans love kittens. Wait, why the fuck would a Satanist not like a kitten? Kittens rule. I don't know about this baby shit, though. She said, we love kittens, we love babies. It's like, eh. Kittens, yeah, yeah, yeah. Babies, I don't know, that doesn't seem very satanic. Let's ask the Satanic Temple spokesperson, Lucian Greaves. How come this dude gets to look this fucking cool? By the way, this dude has the same fucking, same ass haircut as me. We both got the shaved sides and the fucking hair on the top slicked back. He's got that fucked up eye. I thought it was a contact lens the first few times I saw it, but I'm pretty sure that eye is legitimately fucked up. Makes him kind of have like a Bond villain quality that I kind of dig. Lucian. Lucian. Can't even fucking say the man's name with fucking respect. Gotta fucking do this. Lucian. If Lucian Graves was sitting across the desk from him, he would not be Lucian. But because he's safely fucking via satellite, it's like, hey, Lucian. We're here to talk about Satan. <laughs> Man, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If Satan is Good evil, I thought. Jesse. Nice to. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jesse. I love how he fucking immediately just turns the mockery around. Oh yeah, beautiful. Meet you too. If Satan's evil, why should kids be in an evil club? Well, obviously we don't view Satan as evil, and it really doesn't matter to us what. Your mythology is surrounding Satan. You need to ask yourself if your distaste over us identifying as Satanists is strong enough that you would abandon the principles of free speech. <laughs> Don't call their bluff on that one. You already know the answer to this. I always thought Satan was like sex, you know, like when you're 18. Satan of course you did, you horn dog. Oh, man. Can this, can Jesse Waters get through one interview without fucking revealing his thirst? This motherfucker is horny as hell. Interview some of the interns and shit at his, uh, you know, working under him. Cause like, I guarantee you want to get rid of that guy. It's going to be fucking easy. But I don't know if I would want Satan in schools. You understand how parents feel, right? 
Well, parents can feel that way, and many parents feel similarly about evangelical after-school clubs. And in fact, we put our club in place to offer an alternative against an evangelical club that's explicitly designed to convert children and get them to proselytize to other kids. So you're kind of doing it to tweak the system. I get it. What are these? <laughs> Jesse has nothing. I mean, so you're kind of doing it to tweak the system. I get it. I don't know what Jesse was expecting. I, I Maybe he was expecting this guy to just like Lucian Greaves to show up and just be like, <laughs> I'm the devil. Your children will be corrupted by my evil. <laughs> We're not even well, teaching children about what, Satanism what's the in the tenet? classes. What, give me a tenet. One should strive to act with compassion and empathy with it to all creatures within reason. Within reason, eh? Well, let's say, you know, Satan demands a sacrifice or something, you know? Well, you, what do you do then? You act in compassion then when you're fucking sacrificing a goat to the devil? Huh? Huh? Oh. That sounds fun. All right. Uh, you might like it. <laughs> Jesse, what is Jesse? Jesse Waters is like, uh, uh, um, uh. uh maybe. I don't know about all that. Are you married, by the way? Uh, no, I'm not. No. Oh. Okay. I just, I was just wondering. <laughs> Why? Wait, what was that? You, you're interested, Jesse? <laughs> you know, now that I know what you satanic fuckers are all about, you know, would you like to go have dinner with me or? We gotta go. Um, I'm probably gonna butcher your name again. Lucian. It's not that hard. Lucian. That's okay. It's that, Lucian Greaves. Lu it's not, I mean, it's, is it? I mean, I know Lucian is not like a super duper common name, but I don't feel like it's all that hard either. Lucian, I almost had it. Thank you very much. Have a great night. <laughs> Jesse's just like, this This is not, this did not go according to plan. Go away. Didn't even know the first fucking thing about your own guest on your own show. Couldn't bother to be, to research. Couldn't bother to learn thing one about Lucian Greaves before he came on the Jesse Waters show. And then the fact that they would like literally upload this to their channel. Jesse Waters grills satanic temple spokesperson. No, he didn't. He asked three softball questions and when he didn't get like snarling beast answers, he was like, well, see ya. <laughs> like, who the fuck are you talking about? My favorite part was when Jesse made himself look like an idiot for five minutes and 28 seconds. The irony of starting the topic by saying after school clubs are meant to broaden your horizons, then straight away, totally disregarding this specific club is legitimate. Talk about an open mind from Jesse. Oh my God. He's getting savaged in the fucking comments. Like I could understand why someone who hates Fox News would upload this clip as an example of like, this is the kind of dog shit you get on Fox News, but Fox News themselves leaned into this. They were like, oh yeah, this is one of our shining moments here on Fox News Channel. It's like, what the fuck was that?